Hey everybody, this is Mark Srinirk, Maztec315, and today's video is a short video on just kind of showing some progress on what I've done so far since I started learning Python. Now I have a Raspberry Pi which works with Linux, but I also downloaded it on the Windows 11 with the Visual, Visual Studio, excuse me, to kind of get a little better idea of what's going on as I write code. So I am using an IDE. Um, but if I can do it, anyone can do it. So right now I'm getting ready to show you um, a couple of the programs that I've done successfully where I've ran it numerous times and as simple or com as complex as they are, they actually did work. So the first one was actually a Hello World. If you work in any kind of programming language and you're going to learn first program you're going to run as hello world and that just kind of shows you that everything's working um, after that you may tinker around tinker around with some of the basically basic programs where you may uh, set up something to regurgitate what you're writing or you may do a mad lib which is one of the programs I did end up doing um, where you kind of answer a series of questions through the terminal and then it either shows you your answers from whatever's um, in the code or it will just basically write it back to you so it is, these are a couple of fun little games then I ended up getting into some more advanced games um, like that was looking at tic-tac-toe the snake game Tetris games like that so this first one is basically a one of those um, text games I'll call it where you put in you know enter a color enter a plural noun you know enter a celebrity that was pretty fun and then it will give back to you um, the things that you said all these programs are free and open source and you don't have to be a mathematical genius nor do you have to be a degree carrying programmer to learn any of this and it doesn't screw up your computer at all. Um, there are tons of YouTube videos that tutorial how to get set up with Python or JavaScript or whatever you're going to use, how to use an IDE. Um, I chose Visual Studio through Microsoft, but you can choose a number of different programs. On my Raspberry Pi, I actually use Genie, which is a different IDE, and it helps me to basically see what's going on and if you're gonna write games if you're gonna write programs for games you're gonna wanna see that it works your sprites are working you know there's no errors in the code and it is forgiving you can set up a color scheme any which way this isn't a complex video on Python or any of the other languages JavaScript or anything like that that's this is basically just showing you what I've done and so so far I've had a lot of fun with it it is nerve-wracking spaces do matter uh, common errors happen a lot uh, things where you would think in the beginning like it wasn't giving me two sets of parentheses or two sets of quotation marks so I had to put them in manually and that in itself missing those things will air out your whole uh, program so I, this was a couple of the programs I did. The second one here was I just kind of put in a name, where I lived, favorite color, and made a box where it said, Hello, Marcus. And you could do it with any name, any answers you choose. And then going into the next clip, you're going to see where I've gotten to right now, which is basically I made a couple games, and they're not the best. They're still a little buggy. But I thought it was pretty cool, and to be honest with you, now I'm reminded of how competitive 2D gaming was, like Minesweep or the Snake Game <laughs> or Tetris, as you're going to see with my lame gameplay. Uh, I did not do very well in either one of these games. I didn't run FPS, but I imagine the FPS probably uh, runs high because it's in... AMD 5900X with a 2070 Super and 64 gigabytes of Trident Z RAM with an, you know, an 
MVME M.2, so that won't matter for FPS so much as the first two items, but I mean, come on. So now there's many different uh, genres of this game, the snake game. I call it the matchstick game in the beginning. I may change that, but I did mess around with the code changing the shapes because this is not my code. I did get this from um, someone teaching Python. So these were a couple of the games that they had shown how to make. So this is definitely not my code per se, but I did go ahead and tweak it a little to make it my own, which I think is the point. Um, why reinvent the wheel if you don't need to, but you will see there are some bugs still in it. Uh, with the snake game, I still have some issues with when it hits itself, it just zeroes out the game and you lose your high score and score. Tetris right here, I didn't have the high score, but I will add that in. I just wanted to go ahead and give a glimpse and show that anybody can do this if they're interested in learning how to program games or just make programs in general. Anyone can do this. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. And if you want to see more videos like that, this one, hit the subscribe button. I'm also on all the socials you can think of, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Most of my stuff is... Um, videos of myself either reviewing PCs that I've picked up in the neighborhood, as you can see the glitch, or now it's probably going to be some coding videos as well, just to show you that I'm not the smartest person in the world, and if I can do it, anyone can do it, and a lot of times you can do it with next to nothing resources or free. I started out with Notepad, but all these programs are free. Thanks for watching. Peace.